welcome back to the National March for Life online coverage 2011. I'm Kathleen Dunn and we are here on Parliament Hill for the March for Life itself. We are about an hour and a half away from the march and we're going to walk around the hill and talk to a few people and see why they came. I think it's immoral to kill innocent lives and not even giving them a chance to live yet. So yeah, I think it's important that young people should be here. They're being misused by a lot of people in our culture today and disrespected. And so we're just coming here because we're trying to end this atrocity in Canada. What's your favorite thing about being here? Uh, my favorite thing about being here is really just like seeing all the people and there's more and more people every year and it's just, it's a great spirit around here. Did you know that Canada actually has a written down law and it says that a child becomes a human being when the child proceeds in a living state fully from his or her mother's body. If the little toe remains in the birth canal in Canada, that child is not a human being. Being pro-life simply requires understanding that if a life is human after birth, it must be human before birth. I encourage Canadian employers to use their innovative talents to create jobs with flexible hours so single mothers can raise their children in safety and dignity. I encourage those of you who know how to be great fundraisers to get involved with a hospice in your local community so those in the last chapters of their life can feel the emotional support and love that every human deserves and die with dignity. Because before I was born, a doctor suggested that it would be best that I not live, that I be aborted. My mother chose life. She chose my life. Will you make sure your elected officials know to reopen the abortion debate and to establish protections for every child in the womb? Will you commit today to do everything you can until that day when abortion ends in Canada and no more women cry and no more children die? I would say think about the child inside your womb. It is a human and you are strong enough to have this child and there is support for you out there. Not just wobs of flesh, they are human beings, and I realized that we can't do this. We can't absolutely cannot do this. My own birth parents were not in a position to take care of me, and it's really scary when they had the choice living in Canada to abort me, and even though they didn't choose to abort me. There was that choice. It was available to them. They could have done that. With your yes, this truly will be a day in the history of Canada, a day that will forever mark the beginning of the end of abortion. God bless you.